Today I'm gonna do Timu knockoffs versus the real thing. Also just ignore like the sunburn cut off on my neck. I clearly only applied it to my face and like a little bit of my neck, but at least I know my sunscreen works, so. Okay, let's get right into this. I'm like very excited to see the similarities and the differences. This side I'm gonna do Timu and this side is gonna be the real thing. I'm starting with my brows and on the Timu side, I have a $2.49 brow gel. I'm gonna compare this to the Anastasia Brow Freeze. This is $23. Okay, so there's exactly the same amount of product in each pot. They also smell exactly the same. I won't lie, for a $2.49 brow gel, the Timu one is no joke. Like, it works. It literally just shaped this brow so seamlessly. Okay, I'm now moving on to the brow freeze. This is like one of my holy grail products. I use it all the time. Visually, you like can't even tell that I use two different products. So a wear test is going to have to make the final decision. Let's move on to primer. On the Timu side, we have the Power Grip Primer with 4% niacinamide. And on the real side, we have the Power Grip Primer with 4% niacinamide. Like, okay. The resemblance is crazy. Also, how do they get away with like using the same name? I cannot wait to compare these two because this actually has like a great amount of tackiness. This is $3 though compared to $10. Like, how are you gonna dupe something that's already inexpensive? All right, let's go in with the OG now. I won't lie, like spreading this on my face, the texture is exactly the same. Okay, let's give the tackiness a test. You can definitely tell that this one is a little bit more tacky. It's now time for foundation. And on the Timu side, we have this HD liquid coverage foundation and they are definitely duping the Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation. The resemblance is actually crazy. Look, look how the HD is in bold lettering. I can't. Okay, this one is $3.14 compared to the Catrice, which is $10. I did try this foundation the other day and I really do like it. It's honestly amazing for the price. The fragrance is exactly the same. This makes me wonder, you know? It's performing exactly the same. So the only way I'm gonna be able to make a decision is by doing a wear test, which I'm going to do. Okay, let's move on to concealer. On the Timu side, we have the It Cosmetics knockoff. The resemblance for this one is actually uncanny. Like, everything is the same. This one's just a little bit bigger, but like, unreal. <laughs> the real one is definitely much thicker. This one is a $4 concealer, and this one is $30. My under eyes so far look exactly the same. Okay, you guys, go to part two to see the final look. 